Hi, Heidi Thorne here with a quick tip for audiobook recording. I was talking to a friend of mine who is a public speaker and a life coach, and she's a great speaker, and great trainer. She has an amazing voice, and she expressed some concern about doing audiobooks because she would be afraid of going off on a tangent and ad-libbing from what the text was in the book. Now, her concerns are definitely valid because when you podcast, it's easy to go off script and, and express yourself, so that's not a problem. But when you do audiobooks, it's a completely different situation. Now, when you do audiobooks, you definitely don't want to be doing any ad-libbing, and here's why. Because when you create an audiobook on ACX, which is Amazon's Audible and um, audiobook production platform, and you have the ebook, the Kindle ebook version done through Kindle Direct Publishing, it will try and marry those two versions together so that the reader, through this whisper sync technology, can end at one place in the audiobook and be able to pick up from that place in the ebook and vice versa. That is a really cool tool. And you want to be able to do that. Um, most of my books on Audible have been able to whisper sync up, <laughs> um, with the exception of one. And I think that's probably because it's an older edition. I, I made some uh, minor changes, so maybe it's not syncing properly. And I'm hoping to get that uh, fixed one day. But almost all of my other books in fact, with that one exception, are all whisper synced up. And I think that's a very nice feature for your reader listeners. So you want to make sure that you are not going off script when you are recording your audiobook. Now, that's really, really hard to do. Now, as I've mentioned in other places, audiobook narration is a performance art. And you have to practice, 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 because it's really hard to stay on track. So you need to do a couple of different things to make sure that you have that text that is the same as uh, what's in your audiobook. First of all, you need to concentrate. So you want to eliminate all the distractions that are around you when you're recording. And you want to slow down a bit, just so that you're not skipping over words. Another reason why you want to sync this up is not just for this whisper sync technology. When you have an audiobook that is largely different than the text version, those are really two separate products not just a different format of the same thing. So you want to have that consistency across all of your formats. So again, just to reiterate, to make sure that all of your editions sync up, you want to go a little bit slower. You want to concentrate on what you are reading and you want to practice, practice, practice until it becomes natural for you to read the text that's on the page. So I hope you have found that helpful as you put your audiobooks together. Now, if you have found it helpful, I would appreciate it if you would like this video and if you would subscribe to my Heidi Thorne YouTube channel so that you can get more videos like this with tips for uh, audiobooks and ebooks and print books and everything self publishing. Uh, as well, if you want to connect with me, my website is HeidiThorne.com and definitely share this video with your author friends on social media. 
So until next time, thank you for listening and have a great day.